I was just thinking about how, I mean, I know for myself and just about everyone else I've ever talked to about this sort of subject, that we all think about things that, like in, in, in a given situation, we all think about things that we would probably not tell really anyone else that we think about. Like, like I'll give, I'll give an example right? There's someone that is just, like, too nice. They, they, they have, they're just too smiley, too nice, too, and, and oftentimes they'll go on and on about all of these, you know, great things that they've done for other people, and, you know, essentially be arguing that they're so selfless. But I'll be thinking to myself, Oh, well, you know, if they're really as selfless as they, they like, make themselves out to be, why would they be bragging about it all the time? I mean, because, like, you know, just, like, when that's all you hear them talk about, you know. So when, when there's someone that acts like that, I, I think to myself, and this is something I'd never do, <laughs> but it's something I think to myself. So this person is going on and on about all these things that they've, that they've done you know, for, for other people, they've, they've helped the needy, they've, and, uh, I'll think to myself, what would this person, you know, while they're talking, I'd think, I think to myself, what would this person do if I just, like, punch them right in the nose, just bam, right, right there, right? What would they do? How would they react? You know? And it's the worst thing that you could poss I could possibly do, and I'd never do it, but I, I think think it for a moment in my head, right? And uh, I don't know. Um, that's just just kind of an example. I, 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 I can respect that someone has done a bunch of things. Don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm not making any judgments about people who, uh, other than when they have to brag about it all the time, but. There are things that we think. There are judgments that we make. Because I, I was I'm almost almost trying to say, I don't don't make that judgment yet. Yeah, well, yeah, I do. I do make the judgment, but I don't treat the person that way based on that judgment. You know, I may think something. I may have these judgments, but I don't say it out loud. I certainly don't like base my actions on those things that I think about like that. You know, it's an option. There, there's so many things that, that you, that in any given scenario, you could think to yourself, what's the worst thing I could do right now? Right? <clears throat> you know what made the movie Falling Down so good was that it homed in on these things that we think to ourselves but never do. We would never actually go through with. And his character just, lives these things that we normally would just think. And uh, it goes into a lot more than that, but uh, that's that's one of the things it touches on a lot. And uh, I wish the subject would get talked about a little bit more, you know? I just seem to find that the right wing or more Republicans sort of, it is, it's not, it's not everyone but it seems to come more from the right than I've ever seen it from the left, or I've seen it from Republicans far more than I see it from Democrats, is the notion that we should live more closely to, you know, when it comes to, to what we say anyway, we should be more close to these things that we think about that normally we'd, we'd never actually say or do. Oh, you're being a more honest person that way. And I'm just like, is, is, well, I mean, is that the kind of honesty we want? I mean, just in general, we're, we live in a society of lies. We, we teach ourselves to lie from, from, from an early age. We're not an honest society. And yet here's this group, oh, we, we should be honest about the things that, the things that, that come between us. The things that separate us from each other. Let's let's be honest about those things, right? You know, if we if we gotta pick and choose the things to be honest about, I mean let's let's try to be honest about the things that we we can actually agree on. 
there's not much of that going on on either side right now. So let's let's make that clear. I, I certainly haven't helped in that, you know. But I've seen sometimes on the right the notion that we should even do these things that we think about. You know, if if the way we're thinking about it is in the context of, oh, is this what God would want? You know, if people think they have God on their side, then, then you, should, you should do what your destiny is sort of thing, too. And that's kind of scary to me. You know, it, 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 we should be doing the opposite of that. We should be using our brains to look past any of this shit so, so we, we don't go and do something that hurts people. You know, I, I guess that's a big fear that I have. You know, if, if we get used to being unfiltered, that whole notion of being unfiltered, just in anything that we, we are, are thinking we should just say and not have a filter for it, you know, if we get in that habit, we will eventually start to just do whatever we damn well feel like without thinking about the consequences. That's not a good route to go down. Let's, let's not do that. Let's not bring ourselves closer to that. And, and what's kind of funny is uh, a lot of people on the right are, are just like, oh, we, we, we need to get rid of political correctness. You know, and it's just like, well, do we? Should we? Sure, we can get, we, we should call out the absurd parts about it. Sure. But Political correctness is just, the, the main squeeze of political correctness is to try to, to have some courtesy, try to have some kindness, try to treat people at least somewhat decently, try to think about how someone might feel if you said it, you know? It's, it's, it's just trying, trying to be at least a bit kind. Kindness can go a long ways. I mean, there's a balancing act there, too, you know? But we don't want to go down this notion of, of you know, whatever hateful or any anything that you feel you should just be unfiltered about. Man, that just that can, that can lead to some bad places. You guys, now I know where I was going with this. You guys really don't like it when the left is unfiltered. I mean, you hate it. People start talking about whiteness, right? Oh my goodness, you just freak out. You freak the fuck out. And then, and people on the left should just react like, well, you don't want political correctness, so how do you like it? Okay, you're not going to like if, if nobody is politically correct, if everyone is just unfiltered. Yeah, you're not going to like it. You make it sound like you, you make it sound like you guys have have it, you know. It, no. No, the left can be pretty fucking mean when they want to be. And we've seen what happens when we let them be mean like this. But you're still not going to make the connection that hey, yeah, maybe we should all try to treat each other nicely. Maybe we should all be a little bit more filtered so we can get along. You know? Guess I don't know what more to say. Thank you for watching. Have a banana.